It's Jason here from 3D Printing Canada. Uh, today we're going to be installing a BL Touch on the Ender 3 V2. The Ender 3 V2 is the one of the newer machines out from Creality right now. Uh, very similar to the Ender 3 Pro. Uh, again, you uh, can always do a few upgrades that to it and today we're going to be doing our first one. So before we get started, I'll just introduce you to the parts that you need. Uh, what you'll need is the BL Touch and Labs BL Touch probe. The probe is going to include clips, screws, springs. We'll get into that once we get the package opened up. <clears throat> the next thing you're going to need is one of the Ant Labs uh, 1.5 meter cables. The one I've opted for here is the SMFB. That means that the cable itself has the connector on it for the BL Touch. This connector is already installed. However, the other end is just bare wiring. So what you're gonna to have to go through on this particular machine, uh, the cables aren't available for them yet, but I will introduce and show you today how to get these cables actually made up for the particular configuration that you require. The next part of this kit that you're gonna need is gonna be the JST five pin connector. Instead of using the two and the three pins that are located in the BL Touch kit, you're gonna require this five pin instead. That being said, the last part that you're gonna need is your BL Touch mounting bracket. You'll find the STL file for this in the video description of this video. Make sure you print this out before you start disassembling your machine. The tools that you're gonna require are pretty straightforward as well. Two, two millimeter and a three millimeter Allen key, Phillips screwdriver, eight millimeter combination wrench, a pair of side cutters, and a pair of needle nose. Sometimes just makes the install a little easier for you. A couple of zip ties to keep your wiring under control. That being said, let's move into the install. So the most critical part of this install is you're gonna require to add the connectors to the end of this BL Touch. So we're gonna start with this and get this part out of the way. What we're gonna end up with at the end of the day is we're gonna put all five of these wires with our JST connectors on them, and we're gonna add them into this JST connector in the proper order. The order for this install is critical. If the order is not done properly, your BL Touch will not work. At the end of this install, what you're going to see is your JST connector. I usually look at them with the metal tabs up. You're gonna have white on the right, followed by a black wire. Next to your black in the middle is your yellow. Second from the left is red. Brown being on the very far left. Again, this wiring order is critical, but I'm gonna show you how to do a couple of these connectors now. The first part of the process is you're gonna to have to separate these wires. You don't have to pull them far, just have to pull them enough so you get a little bit of a tag end on each side. Use your pair of wire strippers. Take off about a half an inch of insulation. I find it easier if I actually take the wires and give them a little bit of a twist, just so that you can get them all in the connector at the same time. Now when you're using your JST crimpers, your middle clip has got two ends. The back end here is where your wire is gonna insert from. This is the end of the clip that's actually gonna push down over the JST connector on the main board. So this is the end that we're dealing with here. When you hold your JST crimpers, I find it easier if I take the wire end in my finger and I'll put this in the appropriate sized jaws on my JST and push it slightly so that it will actually grip itself in place. Once that's complete, take the end of your wire, lay it inside your JST connector, Now 
Make sure you put it in far enough so that the white insulation is inside the second crimp that we're going to complete. Give it a little squeeze and the JST will come out of the jaw and your wire connection is complete. The second part of the crimp is to actually grip the wire. So you're gonna move back to a slightly larger jaw on your JST. Once that's in place, give it a squeeze. And when you pop your JST connector out, you're gonna see a very neat factory style crimp. Follow this operation on all five wires. And again, insert them in the direction in which I had noted earlier. So continuing with the install, the next portion is we're going to get the hot end and the carriage ready to accept the BL touch. Now with this machine, it's actually fairly easy. What I do with these is I just take out this one screw that holds on the V wheel on the left side of the machine, on the left side of the carriage. Once you loosen up this screw using your eight millimeter wrench and your three millimeter Allen key, you're gonna pull this bolt out, the V wheel, the sleeve, and the nut will all come off. So you can just set those aside for right now. You won't need them immediately. The next part to the install is we're going to actually install the BL touch to the 3D printed bracket. What you're gonna require is when you open your BL Touch package, you're gonna find in it a couple of springs, assorted nuts and bolts. If you care to put it together in configuration similar to what you see here, I use the springs just to give a little bit of give on the BL Touch in case you happen to hit it, you're not gonna damage it. So once you have it installed this way, the next portion is we're gonna put our cable in that we've assembled already. So the small end of our cable will plug directly into the BL Touch. Such as you see here. So as you've already done the cable, I'll have a quick rundown through the wiring for you again. If you've done your GST connections, you should see them from right to left, you should see white, black, orange, red, and brown. So now that the BL Touch cable is, or the BL Touch sensor is wired and is installed on our bracket properly, all we're simply gonna do is slide this over the side of our X carriage. It will sit there by itself. What's going to secure it is we're now going to reinstall the V wheel that we removed from this earlier. Slide your bolt through the front. As you see the bolt start to protrude through the back, slide your sleeve on first. Then place your V-wheel in place. Continue to push your bolt through the V-wheel. And then finally, your nylon lock nut will go on in the very back. Once you have it on there hand tight, Use your Allen key and your wrench again to cinch that bolt down. Careful not to over tighten, because as you know, this is a 3D printed part. It will be easy enough to break. At this time, also a good idea, check your V-wheel, make sure the tension properly, check your belts, make sure you don't have any excessive play in the carriage. It's a good time to do a little maintenance on it. What's left now is your cable management. So with our cable management, we're simply going to bring this BL Touch cable and we're going to zip tie it back onto our Bowden tube. Leave a little bit of slack, you're not really short in cable. Zip tie it in several places on your way back. Just zip tie it all the way down this black cable until you come all the way down under the machine. We'll have a look at that in the next step. Okay, so in this step, 
What we're actually going to do is now that we've taken our BL touch cable all the way to the bottom of the machine, we're now going to access the main board and we're going to plug it in where it needs to go. So there are actually four screws that you require to take out. There are three short ones and one long one. There's your long one is here. The long one goes in the back by itself. Two short ones are in the front and one short one is on the top, roughly opposite this hole right here. Now, I usually just loosen this screw, but leave it, uh, leave it connected for now until I get the upper screw out. Because inside that case, there's a fan that's actually attached to this bottom cover. And when you let the last screw out, if you just let the cover drop, you may damage the, the fan wiring. So as you're taking the last screw out, just keep a finger on it so that it doesn't fall to the desk. And as you take it out, you can unplug it from the main board. This one here was actually a little loose. So when you have your BL touch wiring, you're gonna to continue to zip tie it all the way down to the bottom. Now, if you have a look inside the case, on this machine. I'm gonna disconnect this cable for the display screen, just to make it easier for you to see where this goes. But this is the five pin JST connector that you're gonna be plugging this BL Touch into. Once you locate this connector, you're gonna see on the connector, there are two guide tabs cut out on the side towards me. These two tabs here on the JST connector are gonna slide directly into those connectors. It will only go in one way. You'll have to use a little bit of push force to put it in. If you have to use an excessive amount of force to get it in, you may have the connector turn back to front. If you did remove this, plug it back in again, and your wiring inside the main board is done. You can go ahead and reinstall the case back on here. This fan connector will go right into this connector right here. Very similar. This connector has two guide tabs on it. The two guide tabs on this connector are towards me. So when you plug this back in, black is gonna be on the top and red is going to be on the bottom. Once you have that plugged in, the two holes go towards the top and this little plate is gonna slide down right on the side here of all your wiring. We'll go back in fairly gently. Line your BL touch wires up so that you're not gonna pinch anything. A Little bit of a wiggle. Long screw is gonna be located here in the bottom hole. Now that we have one screw in, we can go ahead and put in the other three. Now I'm going to turn the machine up just so that you can see for yourself where that last screw goes. It's just located here. You may have to move the bed all the way to the rear direction to be able to locate it, but you will see the hole here. Once you get your Allen key lined up. And there you go. That's the hardware install for the BL Touch is complete. And the only thing left to do after this is to flash your firmware. The firmware is available from Creality's website, www.creality.com forward slash downloads. There will be a link also in the video description uh, for this video as well to give you a quicker access to it. So thank you very much for spending the time with me and we'll get, the, uh, get some more upgrades done later. Thanks, have a great day.